Hey everybody, happy, happy Tuesday Cyber Tuesday. I'm coming, I'm coming to you from behind a, a bunch of packs, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk with frames, talk about frames. Uh, of, of the, so uh, I was asked to make a little, make a new frame for a customer. And in doing so, I thought to share a little bit and explain a little bit more about what goes into the frames and how they work and how it connects back to your pack. So uh, I'm gonna do a little double duty here. The reason this is a black and red frame, it just helps me identify that it is a, uh, a medium large frame that's gonna go into the large size athlete pack. Now, all of these gray gray packs, all three of these grays, these are all three large athlete packs. And the, uh, the black one here right in front of me, that guy is a medium. And the frame I'm just making is a medium large, once again, a medium large frame for the athlete pack. So I'm just gonna let that dry off a second. I'm gonna put that one down. And we're gonna flip cameras. Okay, so the three frames you have, I have laid out in front of me here. I know you can't see the one with the little bit missing, that's all right. Uh, those are athlete frames, and then this frame right here, this guy, maybe I'll move that camera right there. That, that big frame right there, that's the adventure frame. So I mention it simply from the perspective that it's a different frame, it's a different beast, works a little bit differently, but you can see first how it's the same height right here as the large athlete frame. And that, that piece is important because all the torso lengths for our packs work the same way. So basically, if you have a torso length under 18 inches, you're gonna go with the smaller variation, the, the, the medium frame. If you've got a torso length above 18 inches, you're gonna go with the large frame. But what if you have a, a, a torso kind of in between? What if you've got uh, an individual, you just want something different. And so this medium large travel frame, that fits into the athlete pack. And it fits into the athlete pack in the normal frame slot. So if you own an athlete pack and you know the frame is removable, it's a little bit of a challenge at times, right? And it, it slips in and connects under these loops that run through some little sleeves or conduits tucked down in there with some orange piping at the top to make you recognize them. And that, frame gets jammed in there and you you need a, a tool typically like a like a tire iron here to do it i'm going to save that for another video for this video it's really helping you understand how the frame height can impact the height of the pack which then impacts how it carries right so um sticking with this idea of putting different height frames into the same height pack, right? So once again, the gray packs right here are all athletes, excuse me, our athlete largest. And this black one is an athlete medium, right? Now this pack all the way to my left is the shortest, it's the smallest. And, and it, is, it is that size because it has actually the small frame in it, this travel, this, this frame down here. So this medium frame with a small adjustment is called a travel frame and it fits into the athlete pack in a second set, it tucks under, doesn't go in this first set like, like this guy did here. It goes in a second set of flaps, lower. Now, this second set of flaps does not exist on the medium, it only exists on large. And what it does is it lets you take a large size pack, bring it essentially down to medium height right here so that you can travel easier with it for, for really for airline purposes, right? 
Now, doing so will change how the pack carries on you. And I can put it on in a second, but I want to break these down. On a fundamental basis, you're going to end up carrying more load on your shoulders, right? Because you're not creating space up here for the load lifter to do their work, right? The medium is the medium. You can, we can put a small medium frame in it, but we'll save that for another day. That does essentially what you see going on here. Now, I'll put these two back to back. Once again, these are both large athlete packs. The difference is one has this frame in it, the frame that I just made, this medium large frame. And I'm going to turn line them up. You notice there's just a small difference here. But this difference essentially equates to almost one inch of, of height. And you can see the dramatic difference between these two. So a medium large frame and a large athlete pack will bring the height down about one inch. Right? And if you want to bring it down another inch, then you essentially would need to get the travel frame. Now, you have the option to take the frames completely and not use them, uh, carry, kind of carry the pucks, packs more in a rucksack mode. And in doing so, um, right, you'd be able to bring the height down here, here even more. Now, all of this is important because height is one of the, the biggest limiters when it comes to airline travel. And um, one of the things that a lot of people ask me about is uh, how do we bring, bring the height down if we're just one inch over? And my, my simple answer is that the depth of the pack is uh, almost immaterial. So you can set your pack up in such a way that the top four to six inches have very little inside of them. And uh, fundamentally speaking, the measurements that airlines abide by are cumulative measurements. So you're using the height, the width, and the length. And, and in this case, if you pack smart and pack well, you're well within the bounds on the on the depth. You're well within the bounds on the width, and you may even be you may or two above the bounds on the overall height. And so, if you're a frequent traveler and you're going a lot, well, then you, you you're probably well served by getting a frame size so that you're minimizing the annoyances of travel. And if you're a uh, infrequent traveler, then I would just rock with what you've got. And if you're in a situation where you have to bring the height of the pack down, just, just remove the frame. Keep in mind, you know, these frames are tipped down at the bottom. Um, they're really flexible. They will bend if you end up kinking one. Um, not the worst thing. You can always get you a replacement, but they're easy to stow away. You can, you can put them in the overhead. And uh, they work incredibly well to support and carry the weight of what you've got in, inside of these packs. So I said I would uh, put some on just so you understand how it breaks down. So here's the medium. I mean, you, we always understand I'm 6'2", so a medium isn't going to fit me, right? Here's that medium large. Let me close this uh, lower third down. So large with that travel frame in it. And you can you can see on me, it's just a, it's just a small little pack. Let me flip cameras and I'll walk with it. All right. All right. Easy to travel like this. And stow all my camera gear. Now I'm going to switch. All right. I always switch back. There's the medium large now. So yeah, that's just about an inch higher. And then here's the large all the way. All right. So I go now where the large pack. Uh, I've got space for the load lifters to do some work up here. Oh, I forgot to change the camera. Oh, we've got us much good. Yeah. All right. So you can see the difference here on this pack. It's sitting all the way up here with the hip belt. You can see my, my belt is here. 
and the hip belt will sit up, sit up essentially in this area up here. So that's just a little bit about the differences with the frames. With the frames and the packs and how they 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 all they all kind of connect and and, uh, and and work together. So hopefully that helps helps you out a little bit. And so on the site, if you're looking to order, this is the the breakout. So this is the athlete pack large. Large, that's just a standard large frame. If you happen to, um, do I have a split screen here? So the uh, the standard size large frame is, is, is this guy. And then this is the frame I was just making with the red and the black. They might not also always be red and black, but um, that's the, the AthiPak large frame. And then the travel frame is essentially the medium frame. It's just a Nick smaller, the medium frame has a tough time getting in there. Uh, and if you do need a medium pack made with a shorter frame, um, we can do that. That would be this one. And then we can make your custom length frame. You can also feel free to hack your own frame. So uh, you don't always need me to do it. You can just get a little frame twizzle, twizzle tool. I don't kind of know what they're called. Just put it on, spin it around and cuts it off, get some heat shrink tube and, and off you go. All right, hope that helps.